No, no, it wasn't. Oh, no, oh, yeah, okay. stay out of it. I'm being a journalist. Okay. Now, this is an exhibit on the sisters. Yes. Well, what have you seen so far? You and what, what are your impressions? What are my impressions? I'm enjoying the digital format that they have, showing everything that's going on. And they have the, the, the bios that are about the individuals that are laid out pretty nicely. I'm liking it. Enjoying the music. Well, I have to ask you uh, just a regular stock question. And not, not, not your favorite, but just some notable sisters in the exhibit. Can you just tell them, point out and just tell them about them? Um, anything that you know that you want well, to highlight? Well, um, one I have is uh, Mary McLeod Bethune. Where is that? Where's that one at? She's up front here. Come on, let's go up here. And look. Let's go up here and look at her. Where is she on this side? Mm -hmm. right here. Now you can tell us a little bit about your background why, and why you're attached to Mary McLeod with um, the film particularly. I'm attached to Mary McLeod with the film. She won. Uh, right there, right there. What you all will get. Um, my attachment is that my mother was born on the property of where Bethune Cookman is now. And she and her brother. Bethune Cookman is a, is a university? Is yes. It's a college in um, Daytona, Florida. And um, my mother grew up going to her house all the time and used to tell us stories. Um, even where um, Eleanor Roosevelt had come down and visited. And um, they didn't really know who she was at the time. But um, these are the stories that my mother passed on to us. Oh, yeah? Well, mm -hmm. you tell me one notable story. One notable story? Oh, well, I don't know, more of just like she was just uh, friendly to the children in the neighborhood. Uh, and just, uh, any, any, any other women in the thing that you particularly noteworthy for you? Noteworthy for me. We did a program on Fannie Hamer oh. a couple years ago. Tell us about this.